Where are you going? On south, where are you going? Oh. Mac, you, Mac, you look like you got your mouth busted. <laughs> man, what? You do, know, man. You all bloody. Why you well, guys by the water? You like you... We're taking the back road. You go around the back. You weirdos. Why go direct, man? We like, we like the car to When you can get... Jason's expecting you go by the road. I go by the road when you go to the back side. Oh, yep, you're right. He is right here. Yep. See? I'm gonna drop a pocket knife at a bat. And <laughs> or not. Leah, out of here. No! Oh, that's bullshit. Ah, bullshit. They better get that fixed. <laughs> Thank you, cops. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the next video for tips and tricks. And we're going to start looking into trapping for Jason, starting with the basics. And if you have not yet, please check out my other videos dealing with counselor trapping. There's three different videos dealing with the single traps. So since we did that, we might as well do some for Jason because Jason's got to have some fun, too. And hopefully... Some of you beginners will get some things out of this. This is basic trapping, things, places you should know to trap. Starting out, and let's get started. Okay, first thing, i got to say this, that traps are great. I love trapping in Friday the 13th. It's a lot of fun since day one. I love it. I don't care if it's a counselor, but as a Jason, I love it as Jason as well. And reason why, first thing, uh, I can damage or kill a counselor. Let's say a counselor's running from you. They're not looking because they're looking behind, stepping in a trap. Okay, well, say it was Vanessa or Bugsy, they're real fast or even chat. Well, now you're limping, so easier to kill. Or they just step in it and kill yourself. Well, that's one less counselor i got to worry about, so they're great for that. And now number two reason that we love traps is you can scare off counselors. What I mean by this, and I've played a lot of games, and I've seen this a lot of times, uh, you come up, there's a trap sitting there, and counselors will look at it, and they'll have the gas in hand. There might be two or three of them. They'll just drop everything and run off. They won't even try it. And it's kind of funny, though, because they're messing around. They could have already got it in, and it just scares them off. Now, if you're a counselor, don't be scared of traps, guys. There are easy ways to take them out. Just don't do it. But if you're chasing, it's great. All right. Also, signal where they are. What I mean by this is, say you got some of the more stealthier characters like, you know, um, AJ uh, and the chop is a little stealthier, and you're over here fighting all these others, and you're like, wait, where's these people at? Well, they're over sneaking behind your back and trying to fix a car or a boat, and all of a sudden, you know, you hear a trap go off, chink, well, they step in your trap. Ah, that's where you at. Well, now I know to go get him. Now I know where that little stealthy sucker is. And fourth one, it buys you time. And what I mean is for your rage and, or specials. This has to kind of coincide with scaring the counselors off. Basically, the, let's say they're sitting there messing around, trying to figure out how to get past this trap. Well, let's say I've morphed somewhere, and i got a slow Jason morphing or whatever, or I haven't got my shift. Well, while they're doing that, I'm getting my rage built up, and or I'm getting my shifts back, or I might morph just because they're standing around. Great for that, too. Okay, now this Jason, he's not the worst Jason, but when he comes to traps, he sucks, guys. He only has three traps. Yes, only three. Devs, if you're watching this, please give this guy some more traps so he can be a lot better, but uh, this is probably the worst Jason. So what do you do with these three traps? Well, let's look at number one. Go trap the phone box. Okay, so Jason's going to morph over here to the phone box, place a trap, make sure it's real close to the phone box, guys. Don't leave you a gap in there, and put it in front of it. Now, he's double trapping. I will go over double trapping later on, but you, main objective, trap it. Make sure that they don't call the police, because we do not want our counselors escaping on us. Okay, number two is the power box. Now, there's usually three boxes on a map. And the one I want you to trap is the one that powers the radio tower that you call Tommy for. So you walk, find it, find the box that's next to it, take it out, 
No power there. They can't call Tommy. You'll see the lights go out in the house. You know you've got it. Uh, if you're fast enough, a lot of times you can stop them. So you want to put a trap there because the counselors will be looking for this power box and trying to fix it. And we don't want that. Okay, third and final car or cars. Uh, when you go on a map, you usually have two cars. You have a blue and you have a yellow. Now, the yellow car is for two seaters. The blue car is usually the four seater. And the first thing, we're going to shift over here to the yellow car. And he's going to run around. He's going to trap where they put the battery in. And usually when you walk up to it, it's the right side, right corner there. Put it close to the car. Stop them from putting that battery in. And, of course, the gas is on the other side. And just put it by the tank. Now, I'm going to trap this tank, but I want you to notice something. The hood's down, guys. Now, this was early on in the game, so I went there. I heard the battery messing around. And so I went ahead and did that. Now, normally, now these are offline bots. Most people are not this stupid. So offline bots standing there putting gas and all they should be running. But if you go up to a car, the hood's down. And for demonstration purposes, just think the hood's down. But you put the trap by the driver's side door right there at the handle. Because if you come up, you see the hood's down. It's not very early in the game. Odds are they probably already got the gas in it. Don't waste a trap. Just go ahead and put it by the door. That way... You know, you don't have to worry about it because the worst thing you want to do is trap over the gas and they've already put it in and all they were looking for was a key, so they just drove off. Also, if you're limited on traps like this guy is, my advice, if you have two cars and you have to do a thing, just trap the blue car because I'd rather have two escaped than four, okay? Okay, some final thoughts, things to remember, guys, to take away from this. Uh, first thing, uh, Jason's traps can only be used once. He's not like a counselor who can just pick it up, keep reusing it, reset it. And so when you lay them down as Jason, that's it. Where you put it, that's where it stays. If it gets uh, taken out or triggered, that's it. So remember, treat these things like gold and be smart with them. Okay, so two, listen and be observant, guys. And I have it in quotation it probably is the most important skill in this game, period, hands down. I don't care if counts for Jason. Use your ears. Pay attention. Uh, like with the car, you saw the hood was down. That's being observant. Uh, when you walk and when you're fighting somebody else, sudden you hear, you know, gas being spilled. Well, they're either putting it in the boat or the car. And pay attention. That These two are the, best, the most important weapons you got in this whole game. You gotta remember, Peller makes a sound when they mess up. When they put a battery in it, it makes a weird sound. The hood on the car is down. That's being observant. Just listen and look. Three, know you, Jasons. And I'm not just talking about the traps, but I'm talking about their specials too. And regards to trapping, one, let's see here. You know, uh, you know, Sackhead's got the most traps. Then you got Part Nine. He's got the least amount of traps. So you, I know what I got there, and I got to work with. So I plan out where to trap. Two, if I pick one that's got a lot of, you know, a high map morph, okay, I might take a little more risk about doing p two power boxes or something like that because I got that. Or I might morph to a certain place. Uh, here's a car. I trap it. Well, that right over here, one house down, there's the phone box. Well, I'm not going to shift, especially with this Jason that's got a slow map morph. You know, I'm not going to do it, guys. You, you Just pay attention to what you got on your Jasons. Four counselors will tank your traps, guys, or use pocket knives. Uh, if you're playing a counselor, if you got a pocket knife, you could do it quietly, take out the trap. And what I mean by tanking is if you build your counselor a certain way, you can walk in a trap and just take off. Not a, not even a big deal. Maybe you take two or three. I got a couple of, hell, my uh, Tiffany can do it. I got her set up a certain way. But people have played for a while. They know how to tank them. They're not scared of them. It does happen, guys. Number five, this is not a step-by-step. -step. So be flexible because trapping varies. When I say, you know, number one was uh, box, number two, power box, number three, cars. Guys, that's not one, two, three steps. It varies. It also depends if you're fighting against a uh, Jason Killing Squad because when I do that, I may not even trap a car. I got other places to trap because I'm worried about what they're up to. I got to stop them. So be flexible. You may, you know, decide to do the car first, then the phone box, then the power box, whatever. 
but be flexible because it will change sometimes from game to game. You'll have to readjust your usual plans and adjust for accordingly to the group you're playing against. Okay, number six, do not worry about trapping the boat. Now, there are exceptions, but in general, trapping the boat is a waste of traps. You try to trap it, there's the docks. Well, they can go around the trap, guys. And if you try to trap them to block them in there, well, they just hit the water real quick and go up on shore. Most time I found, even with the slow water Jasons, I can morph ahead of the boat and get them. So, you know, as long as I hear the boat, sometimes you don't, but as long as I hear the boat start something, you know, I keep checking map, I can get them. So don't waste your traps on a boat. Uh, like I said, there are exceptions. I've done it, but I, I know where to use them at and what to do with them. But do not worry about the boat. Don't waste them. Just worry about the cars, the phone, and the power. All right, if you're trapping the power box first, guys, do not do more than two before moving on. What I mean, okay, say you're playing Sackhead. He's got that super fast map morph. You know, I'll try two boxes sometimes because I go to one house, this ain't Tommy, and I go to the next one, it's not it. Okay, by this time, you've already wasted too much time. There's already probably found a fuse, the battery, gas. Guys, get started trapping. Don't waste no more time. Actually, even two sometimes is too much, but don't waste your time. Get back on track. Oh, and one more thing, guys. I actually, I apologize. I forgot about this. I meant to put it in. When you hear a trap go off, check your map as Jason. You should see the little red icon. And now with the uh, older updates, it used to be you didn't show this, but it does now. You'll actually see your trap has been set off, guys. So that way you're not looking all over map. Well, which one got set off? Now you know what got set off. And that makes it a heck of a lot easier when you're Jason. Alrighty guys, this is the end of the video. I hope this helps a lot of you out. If you got any questions or comments, please leave them below. I will uh, try to get back to you as quickly as possible. This is one, and I do have a couple more coming out dealing with Jason's traps. And I got a couple of fun ones coming, don't worry. But I wanted to get the basics out of the way. And if you got any tips, tricks, uh, something I'm missing here, please leave it below too. It's fine. You know, I mess up too. But I want y'all to have fun with the game. Please enjoy it. Uh, anything I can do, y'all want me to cover or look at, I'll be more than happy to. Uh, I do have a few suggestions already from a fellow that left one. I told him I'd get around to it. He gave me some good ideas I didn't even think about. Okay, please hit that like and subscribe button. Help our channel grow. And I will see y'all in the next video.